Hello Year 1. Today we're going to do a modelled reading lesson and we are learning to understand and compare characters in texts. And compare means that we are looking for things that are the same and things that are different. Now we're going to read this story. It's called The Lion and the Mouse and it's an Aesop's fable which means that it has a, a special message in it. A lion lay asleep in the forest, his great hand resting on his paws. A timid little mouse, which means she's a bit shy and scared, came upon him unexpectedly and in her fright and her haste to get away, ran across the lion's nose. Roused from his nap, the lion laid his huge paw angrily on the tiny creature to kill her. Oh, so we've been introduced to two characters, the lion and the mouse. So in our graphic organiser, I've put the lion and the mouse as our two characters and some things that are different. So I wrote that next to the lion's name that the lion is huge and that's different to what the mouse is. And I wrote that the mouse was timid, which was a word from our text that means a bit scared and shy, which is also different to the lion. Let's continue reading. Spare me, begged the poor mouse. Please let me go and someday I will surely repay you. The lion was very, was much amused, which means he thought that was a little bit funny. Do you think that a mouse could ever help him? But he was generous, which means that he gave a lot and finally let the mouse go. Some days later, while stalking his prey in the forest, the lion was caught in the toils of a hunter's net. Unable to free himself, he filled the, filled the forest with his angry roaring. The mouse knew the voice and quickly found the lion struggling in the net. Running to one of the great ropes that bound him, she gnawed it until it parted, and soon the lion was free. So she saved him. That's awesome. You laughed when I said I would repay you, said the mouse. Now you see that even a mouse can help a lion. So you'll see in the graphic organiser, the lion is powerful. I've put that in the graphic organiser as it being different to the mouse. And we've, I've written that the mouse was helpful because she was able to free the lion from the hunter's net. Now in the middle of the graphic organiser, there is the part where we can say the, what is the same about the characters. And I said that they were both useful because they were both able to um, be of use to each other and help each other. And that they were both kind the lion let the mouse go and the mouse came to help the lion when he needed. Let's have a revisit of our learning intention. So today we were learning to understand and compare characters in the texts. And I think we did a great job. We were able to find things that were the same about the lion and the mouse characters and find things that were different. Thanks year one. See you next time.